Hi, Katie. Hi, Samina. How are you? I'm really good, thanks. How are you? Great, no, I'm good, thank you. Um, so thank you for joining me. You're going to be having a stall at Awaken the Goddess on the 22nd of July, selling some amazing aura sprays. Um, I bought a couple recently and I just, I love them. I just can't, can't get enough of them. So oh. could you tell me a bit about, um, for those who haven't, maybe haven't experienced an aura spray before, who have, or who have bought one, but not, not quite sure what they should do with it. What are aura sprays? What are they useful for? Um, so yeah, go ahead. Okay, so aura sprays are a form of subtle aromatherapy. So we're all familiar with aromatherapy, working with essential oils for healing and relaxation. Um, aura sprays are essentially a bottle with um, a, a blend of essential oils in a, in a water base that you spray. Um, you can spray it around your, your energy field, which is your aura, so I'll just explain a bit about that. We all have an electromagnetic field that extends around us, around our body. We call this the aura. Um, and it's basically a field of vibration. And when we're sometimes when we're stressed or we're feeling a bit unbalanced, there can be imbalances in our aura. And when you spray the aura spray, the essential oils and the the harmonic vibrations of the oils and the aromas actually help to harmonize our energy field. So it's really amazing. It's calming, you know, they're good for meditation, so they can help put you in that meditative state. Um, there are also sprays for individual chakras. So if you want to work on balancing a particular chakra, you can get the spray for that chakra. So they have many different uses. Okay. Um, okay. You can also use them in your space, like at home, if you want to raise the vibrations of a room. Um, they're great for healing rooms before you do a healing treatment to clear any stagnant energy and make it uplifting for your clients. They're, they're perfect for psychic readings, you know, anything where you want to raise the vibration of the space mm. and, and mm. help people feel relaxed and tuned in. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah they have lots of uses. I've been using them since the the transformational, the Phoenix one that I got from you. I've been oh. using that at work, so whenever I just need a minute at work, I just quickly have a spray, and it just kind of really settles me back down, and just, you know, I just feel like, okay, I can carry on now. It's all good. So I, I don't know if they, that is one of the intended uses, but I like, I like to use it like that. Yes, I mean, definitely. That's really nice to hear, and it is like an instant thing. You know, you can feel that instant shift in yeah. your vibration, can't yeah. you? Yeah. In well-being, you yeah. know, and, and happiness. So, yeah, yeah that's great. <laughs> so, tell me how you got into making these um, these sprays. Okay, so it's been quite a long journey for me because I started out. I did my aromatherapy training back in two thousand, so quite some time ago. Um, and I was working as an aromatherapist, doing a lot of massage treatments. Um, I was also drawn to learning Reiki and crystal healing. So I was doing all the, the energy healing, working with the crystals. And eventually, along the way, I came to, you know, getting more interested in subtle aromatherapy, which is where you use it for meditation and to create shifts in your energy field. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was always a dream of mine to create these vibrational essences. And eventually I did a class and learned how to make them. It was actually at Avebury, um, some of you might know, which is a stone circle in the south of England. And so we made our sprays at Avebury and then we charged them up under the full moon. It was actually a blue moon. Wow. Um, wow. We charged them up by the Avebury stone under the blue moon. That was really special. That was totally my kind of way to spend a day <laughs> and an evening so um yeah so I put all of that knowledge into the sprays um you when I make them I actually divine the right oils to use so say if I'm making an Archangel Michael spray I'll meditate on Archangel Michael and divine uh, which oils need to go into this spray um but also because i have the knowledge of rome therapy that really helps that's like the the structure to it you know i know what oils work well together so it all helps and then i once i've made the sprays i put crystals around them so they also have the crystal vibrations in them and i like to charge them up under the full moon because 
it's vibrational healing. So all these vibrations are going to go into the spray. And, um, you know, I will channel that particular angel or that particular frequency for that spray. So it's more than just essential oils. It's all that vibrational healing as well. Yeah. <laughs> and that's amazing. Just all the effort that you've put in as well and the time and the intention. It's just it's so much more to it than just a, a bottle of spray, isn't it? Yeah, it's, and it's lovely that how much people like them, you know, it's yeah. a really nice way to share the oils because people do really appreciate them. So, yeah, it's a, quite a journey. Oh, amazing. <laughs> What's your favourite spray? I think my favourite spray would have to be the Thoth spray. So I was asked to create this spray. Thoth is known as the god of wisdom. He was... Uh, he was known in ancient Egypt, but he's also connected to Atlantis. Um, so he's like a, a being of, of wisdom and he has to do with, um, you know, creating our reality with our thoughts. So it's quite, quite mystical and deep. And I created this spray and it's very kind of magical. You know, it's, it's quite grounding, but at the same time, it's quite magical. It puts you into a very meditative state. Mm. And I used quite a few really precious oils in it like frankincense, sandalwood, um, and some rare oils like blue cedar wood. There's all kinds of interesting oils in there. So yeah, I like that one. Nice. <laughs> I might give that a try next then. <laughs> so you run courses and retreats and things, workshops, don't you? Tell me about those. That's right. Well, um, I've been teaching energy healing and holistic therapies for some time now. And I'm starting to create my own courses and retreats based around empowerment, um, ascension, you know, raising our vibrations, and also um, healing the divine feminine and working with the divine feminine. So I run women's groups, I run red tents, and I do all kinds of workshops and retreats at sacred sites. So I've got a retreat coming up in Glastonbury, that's in June. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that one because that's like the heart chakra of the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I'm also doing a, a tour of Egypt in October, so that's really exciting. Will you be bringing information about your, your stuff to um, Awaken the Goddess so that you can hand out things and people can find out a bit more about what you do? Definitely, I can do, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I think that would be oh. really good. Yeah. For sure, yeah, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Finding out what everybody does. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, thank you, Katie, for talking to me and telling me all about what you do. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Thank you, Selena. Thank you. <laughs>